Uh, the project's about using the modified ketogenic diet in adults with epilepsy. Um, epilepsy is a condition that affects around 600,000 people in the UK. That's about just under 1% of the population. Um, most people will become seizure free by using medication, but around 30% of people will continue to have seizures and be resistant to medication as a main treatment for their epilepsy. Um, the diet gives people an alternative choice, whereas before it would have been either a surgical option or maybe a vagal nerve stimulator. The diet is based on 30 grams of carbohydrate, and if you can imagine a normal diet is 250 grams, um, a slice of bread has 10 grams, so you can imagine it's a very, very low carbohydrate diet, and the diet is normally worked on um, 5 gram meals, um, so if you can imagine half a slice of bread has got 5 grams of carbohydrate, so you'd be looking at diets that are mostly based on fruit and vegetables and encouraging fat. So opposite to normal healthy eating guidelines, you'd be looking at having extra butter, oil, cream, uh, mayonnaise, um, and just trying to get the body to have fat with the meal to try and get it to produce ketones. It's not sure of the exact mechanism, but that's how um, it reduces the seizures, and that's why it's a treatment um, for epilepsy. So since we started six months ago, we've had an awful lot of referrals coming in. We've got about 20 people on the waiting list um, and we're working every month through new referrals. Um, we've had referrals from out of area, so we've got people coming up from London and across the UK who've heard about the service and want to get involved. Um, so really the aim of the project is to keep going. Um, we've got an observational study that we're running to capture the outcome measures to see how effective the diet has been, to look at any tolerability issues and to measure things like quality of life. Um, so that's due to report in 2017. We're hoping to recruit about 30 people into the study so once that comes through we should be the first UK study to report on the diet. Ultimately we just need to offer the diet to more service users as a treatment and to firm it up and hopefully expand the service further.